Yeah, eat, sleep, fantasy, you rocking with the best. NFL fantasy football podcast. We talking mock drafts, running backs, better follow the conversation. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Eat Sleep Fantasy Football Podcast. My name is Dale. Thanks for joining us. It's been a while, but uh, you know, today is Veterans Day. And what better way to acknowledge the American troops uh, like having a Canadian Clayton on? And the Canadian troops. Come on now, Dale. Come oh, on is now. it Veterans Day in Canada? It, too? it is. Yeah, that's why I'm not working today. It is? Mm-hmm. Should I be working today? It's, it's called the Remembrance Day. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day, Dale. Cool. Well, thank you for your service, Clayton. Um, oh, yeah. I guess I, I wouldn't trust myself with a plastic gun, let alone a real gun. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, all jokes aside, um, you know, you know, thanks to all those that served. Absolutely. Um, did you have a statement prepared, Clayton? Uh, nope. No, uh-huh. I didn't. All I know is one thing. I'm, I told Sarah that if, uh, if she ever does anything to me to let me go missing, I can count on eat nation to uh, track me down. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank you. Suit wait, Dave for uh, caring. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. But it did take people like two weeks to wonder where the fuck we were. <laughs> that is true too. Yeah, we'd be fucking buried in a the first bottom time, of the ocean by you now. Gotta get, guys, if you don't hear from us in 48 hours, uh, chances are we're dead. Yeah, um, exactly. You gotta get us in the first 48 hours. That's yeah. that's the whole so, algorithm there. So c- call the call the local police in Edmonton and uh yeah. and wherever you are, Dale. Where do you live anyways? Exactly. Greensboro, North Carolina. Greens- oh, I, actually I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, you did. He knew that. He knew that. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, life kind of got in the way. So, you know, I hope you, you're still uh, listening to us and you haven't forgotten about us. Um, you know, th- and we've said this all along. This podcast is great to make a couple bucks. We do um, literally a couple bucks, but we this is a hobby for us. And when real life gets in the way, when real work gets in the way of paying bills and paying our mortgage, that obviously takes first, uh, you know, first uh did priority in our, yeah, yeah ex- priority in, in our life yeah. yeah so um as much as we love recording and hopefully entertaining you a little bit and hopefully giving you some fantasy uh football goodness uh we hope you understand that you know um it's it's, it's a hobby for us and damn, we damn life damn life and kids man I yeah, tell you. yeah 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 well the the time where it start when it starts being a chore uh and honestly i know this is going to seem, seem like a cop-out but some sponsors that potential sponsors maybe want more of us than we're willing to give. Um, I, I would never commit to doing like five days a week. Like that yeah. becomes a chore for me, although it would be amazing. It would be great to make a couple bucks off of it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, this can't be a chore. It has to stay fun. And Hey, if, if there's a sponsor out, uh, out there, that'll pay for one or two ads a week. <laughs> cool. Uh, but we can't commit to five days a week. Um, even for the money. At the end of the day, um, it's not going to pay our full time bills. So yeah, exactly. But you know what? We do, we do love it, and that's why we keep coming back. So there you go. There you go. Um, yeah. So we're hoping we're going to help you win this week, week <clears throat> ten. Yeah. So when, when did we record last? So week eight. Yeah, I think we, so. we missed. We missed a week. Missed, missed yeah, a couple I weeks. So. I think so. Oh well. Um, I made I made a shit ton of money though during those two weeks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Tired as fuck, but I'm still. It's still yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, I lost a couple of bucks on Monkey Knife Fight. I'm on a little uh, two week slide, bro. It's, I think, because we have so much information that it's harder. Early in the season, you didn't have a lot, so you can kind of take advantage of the bookies, right? Yeah, um, but now because there's so much history from you know it's so easy to narrow the, these these uh, odds down exact. It's getting tough, um, but we're gonna we're gonna win this week. I actually I'll go through my monkey knife fights, uh, my picks um, for this week. I, I told you I, f- I fell into the hole again this year. Remember I told you I was all excited last year. I was on a roll yeah, playing monkey yeah. knife fight yeah, and with yeah. football. And then I got greedy and I'm like, oh shit, hockey season started. Let's get in the Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. taking a downhill turn. Yeah, it's the, tough. The, oh. So I'm getting a little more conservative. This week I'm only betting I bet 30 bucks this week um on the Thursday night game. Um so I hope that this 30 would turn into, you know, whatever, 105, 110 um bucks for me. So we'll yeah, see. I haven't looked yet, so we'll t- Trust you, you're uh, Dale, the monkey knife fight guy. 
There you go. Uh, promo code hot dog. If you're making your first deposit, you they match your deposit using promo code hot dog. So make sure you do that. It's free money. Why the fuck not? Um, hey, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, let you know. We're, let's get into fantasy football first. There's a couple things I really want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> but let's go ahead. Um, get into everything but the Dalvin Cook news. We'll talk about Dalvin Cook in a minute. Um, so what do you what do you got there? Uh, big thing. Keenan Allen didn't practice yesterday. This is going off of. Um... Uh, Sports Edge guys, uh, fantasy pros as well. Keenan Allen didn't practice Wednesday. This Odell Beckham stuff. Why is he not signing Dale? Do you think he's actually taking his time? Or do you think it's the fact that nobody wants to give him the money or he can't pass physical? Which one do you think it is? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of speculation right now. I don't know. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Uh, maybe he can't pass physical. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I, I hate I hate guessing. Though The thing we know, look, the, the big thing is he kind of forced his way out of his last two teams, right? Yeah. Um, he, he's a little crybaby whiner and he, he can help a team. If he goes to like the Packers, he can help the team. I don't think he can go to another middle of the road team. I don't think he can go to an, you know, another Browns team. You know, he's, he's not going to do well. I don't think like Seattle, Minnesota, yeah. those guys, he, I'm not saying he's even thinking about those, but you know, you don't tell him like, those middle of the road teams, I don't think he's fit for. He needs. He, to has, he has to realize too that he's not going to be demanding all the targets on this team on the team he goes to now, right? He's yeah, not going right. to be that that wide receiver one getting double digit targets. Like you got, you just got to step back and realize, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm a, uh, you know, five to eight target, uh, uh, yeah. five to eight targets a game. Maybe you know catch a deep ball here and there. You know, a couple yeah. touchdowns. But he's not the guy anymore. Like he yeah. hasn't been in years. Yeah, and not in years. And then yeah. years, years yeah. we're talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it's going to be, I mean, I mean, what was it? The Packers and the Saints were the last two I've heard that he's Packers, been Saints and Chiefs. I heard and Chiefs. Okay. Yeah. So all, all with, all with, uh, well, two out of three have pretty decent quarterback situations. So right. The Saints, probably... the Saints, I think is going to be horrible for him because he's yeah. going to be another diva there. Just, yeah. I mean, it's not going to, it's not an upgrade from the Browns. Yeah, exactly. So, um, John U. Smith, uh, practice on limited basis, Zach Wilson, uh, there's talk Mike White is the starter this week. They're going to get love Wilson Mike White. Another. So do I. I this kid should run. This should kid should uh, close out the season. I think for the Jets, man. I like I, him, I, dude. Uh, yeah, I do too. Yeah, it's so weird for Zach Wilson though, isn't it? Oh yeah, second round pick and just like <laughs> yeah, you're never playing guy. You're just to take a seat. Yeah, well, I just what, what, like I like about, what, like what I like about what I like about Mike White is he's just. He just goes out and their balls out, right? He knows, like, I have no – my leash is so long right now because nobody's behind me. And you know what? I can I can sling it. I can uh, well, win what's, games. Well, what's going to happen? He's going to be a backup again? Like, let's, let me go. Let, let's make some mistakes. Yeah. Like, what's the worst that can happen, you know, uh, and if he has Zach Wilson looking over his shoulder? <laughs> uh, but now, I don't know, does his play change now that, like, people are saying, hey, this could be – this could be your thing? I don't know. He, he, well, I – <clears throat> that or maybe he's playing for uh playing for a job maybe elsewhere at the end right. of the year right there, so you go. Who knows? there you go um hunter renfro was limited in practice chase, chase claypool actually i didn't even realize he had a injury um i don't think a lot of people did yeah it was weird just, it came across my feed yesterday and i was like wow so considered week to week not considered season ending uh mm -hmm. biggest thing was was not now now i can understand why pat fryermuth was uh so heavily involved in that game plan last week yep and he immediately jumps into a top 10 tight end spot for me this week. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Um, and outside of that, not too, too much other stuff going on. Do you want to touch on this? Oh, but another thing. Sorry. Alvin Kamara, another, another thing. Yeah. He's got a, uh, got a knee injury. Did not practice on Wednesday. Like that's, that's huge for the Saints team. Yeah. I mean, not, not only for the Saints, but I mean, where does that boost, uh, Mark Ingram up your up your rankings if Kamara doesn't suit up. Yeah, Kamara doesn't suit up. I think Mark Ingram could be a top fifteen running back. Yeah, um, right. I mean, right and now, who, who who did they sign? Uh, did they sign? Was it Carry On Johnson? They signed. I did not hear that. Did they, they, they signed? I know they they brought three three uh, running backs in. I can't remember which one they signed. Shit, I probably probably have had that. Well, welcome to ESF. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Mark Ingram. Um, I think. Look, it's not a great matchup. Man, Tennessee has been playing amazing defense. They're definitely inspiring right now. Um, but if Kamara doesn't play at all, yeah, I could see him. I could see him being in the top top twenty, maybe top fifteen is a little yeah. bullish. Top twenty. Um, and they know. they sorry they signed Josh Adams to oh, the Josh Adams. squad. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right, cool. 
Um, all right, so Dalvin Cook. Let's. I'll get a little bit of story time here. My uh, my fantasy season that uh, Clayton and I are in, Armando's in, Christian Brito, um, a lot of guys that you've heard on the podcast for years. Uh, a bunch of people. This is my my league of like bragging rights, right? It's not a lot of money, but it's very. Um, we communicate a lot. We have a chat. It's very very open. A lot of bullshitting. And uh, so this year, I've come close a couple times uh, winning this. I haven't won it yet. Twelve years. This year, I have a really good team. I I set myself up pretty well, and I told myself, hey, if I get close, if I get a really good team, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to trade some draft picks next year. I'm really going to go all in. Uh, the week I said that, Dal- uh, Derek Henry is injured. That's a big part of my team, obviously, right? Because I was uh, I was six and zero at one point. Um. Dav- uh, Derek Henry gets injured. I say, S- you know, screw it. I'm going all in. I talk to Clayton. What's up, buddy? You have Dalvin Cook. Clayton is out of the contention, so he's like, he wants to sell. So I trade him Derek Henry and a high pick for uh, Dalvin Cook. <laughs> I trade him Dalvin Cook. An hour after that, at night, Dalvin Cook is uh, involved in domestic violence, but he was attacked. Okay. All but, right. Let's but see. The, but this is the best part, though. <clears throat> is as soon as we make that trade, all those guys in that chat were like, we're just tr- making you like refresh your news feed because they're like, oh, uh, Delvin Cook's out. He's sick. He's yeah. this. And you're like constantly checking and then yeah. something actually comes out on him. Sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, you know, he was attacked. This sucks. Domestic violence on any front is a bad thing, right? The next morning, we hear Dalvin Cook may have been more involved than what was initially planned or what was initially reported. Um, so, those of you who don't know, I'm sure you do by now if you're listening to this podcast and you're into fantasy football. Dalvin Cook is accused of some domestic violence. He does have a history, um, but so does the woman that is involved. She has a history of domestic violence as well. I don't know any of the legal stuff here. All I know is that. Um, my fantasy season is in jeopardy again. And I gave up <laughs> Derek Henry. It's weird. And you know, I know this is going to be a touchy subject. Okay. But it is weird to how to separate real life shit from fantasy football. And I look, people can get up on their high horse and we've been through this before. Okay. Again, I am hundred percent against any sort of domestic violence issues. I do think it's a serious offense. Um, it's, it's fucking horrible. Um, but it's hard when you're so involved in this stupid fantasy football game, when you're just looking at names and numbers and not associating real life people to it, uh, it's hard. It's hard to separate, um, sometimes. And is it, is it, does it make me a bad person to think like shit, you know, first, like, okay. My first thought is like, you know, this sucks. And if if it is true about Dalvin Cook, what a piece of shit human being he is, right? I don't know. Um, I mean, I do know that he would be a giant piece of shit human being if the, any of this was true. Uh, it doesn't make me a bad person to think second thing, like, fuck, what am I going to do with my fantasy team and does he play this week? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my, there, I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Like, it, the whole situation is where we were kind of talking about it briefly um, I think he does play this week. I think it kind of, that's kind of a given because I can't imagine things change that quickly where the NFL steps in and, and, uh, and suspends them. But at the same time, what it's what the, what are the Vikings going to do? I mean, that that's a huge, uh, PR issue for them. Like, I mean, if they play them, do they get, you know, do they get the backlash from the public and stuff like that? So I don't know. It's, it's a tough situation on all fronts. Uh, but yeah, I, I uh, am in agreement with you 100%. Any domestic violence is fucking nobody deserves yeah. to uh, to play a snap of football, and they are pieces of shit, like you said. But it is, it's tough because I've been in the situ- same situation as you have been, or that you are in with with him as well in another league, and it's kind of like you really kind of. I mean, are you really you- need this win? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So you know, I hope. I hope that this thing gets sorted out, okay, uh, for good or bad, right? Um, I hope it gets sorted out. But 
my fantasy football mind and just looking at numbers and players, I, you know, I need Devin Cook um, this week. So, and that's what it is. And everybody that says, oh, you know, you guys are pieces of shit for saying that, but you're saying exactly the same thing we are. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, that's what you're thinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hey, and if not good for you, you're a better human being than me. All right. I'm not, I, you know, I, it's, it's pretty known thing. If you guys have been listening to me, uh, you know, you know, I'm not a good person. So, oh, well, Dale, uh, is my kid ever going to like, be why better? does he always cry? Be better. I don't know, man. He's always hungry. Oh, like she, she literally well, feed just him. fed him. We do. We feed him nonstop. <clears throat> You gotta holy moly! You gotta read a book or something about kid crying kids. You gotta figure something out. He's sour. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. If you haven't noticed, that's this is my household right now. So <laughs> deal with it. You're still listening. All right. Uh, so we're getting into week ten. We're gonna look at some cool stuff. I'm gonna go through some rankings. I want to know what you think. Uh, before we get going, let's talk about. Well, fuck. They're gonna listen to this, and Thursday night's gonna be over. Um, but just for the record. Uh, I am, uh, I'm going over on Lamar Jackson over 235 yards and over uh, Jacoby Brissett over 230 yards more more. Is more. so so two is out for sure then? No, is, is that the end? Oh, he's no. out. So it's uh-huh. just question game time. Then. Okay, yeah, yeah. But but uh, both over. We'll post it. Well, post this on our uh, on the website as well. On yeah. our E Nation yeah. private group. E Nation, e Nation yeah. private group on Facebook. Uh, those before we get going. Um, I mean, before we get going on the rankings, I do want to say, um, hold on, sorry. Uh, I do want to say, how was it? Oh shit. Sorry. I got fucking distracted. What was it before we get going? What was I saying? Well, we were talking about monkey knife fight is what we were talking about. And then you said, before we get going, no, I I would want to say a little teaser. Um, NFL draft in April. Clayton's joining me. Um, John Chapman, probably Christian Brito, and a bunch of other people are joining us in Las Vegas. We're doing live shows in Las Vegas. It's gonna be crazy. Um, look, if if you want to come and and hang out with us and party with us, go talk to your wife right now. Just put a little, you know, a uh, little like, hey, not sure if I'm doing this, but you know, I might go to Vegas in April with the boys and just tell your wife or your husband there's a podcast that I've been listening to. They're going to go look what I'm setting up. I don't want to give too much, but what I'm setting up, I'm telling you, it's going to be uh, unlimited drinks. Okay. Unlimited fun. There may or may not be some NFL players going to be there. Uh, it's going to be big. I'm already starting to plan it. Uh, already sending out emails and we're what? Five months away, six months away. Uh, it's going to be crazy. So I suggest everybody, if you want to come hang out with us, start making plans now. Uh, Vegas is not not that crazy expensive right now. Um, you know, you could, you could do like payment plan type things. Maybe, you know, maybe put half down, half down later on hotels with your friends. Uh, if you're thinking about going, shoot me an email. Uh, I think we're going to have a hotel partner uh, that can get maybe cheaper rate. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, just, I'm just putting that in your ear. I'm just teasing it a little bit, but it's, I'm telling you, I will not tell you it's going to be awesome if it wasn't going to be awesome. And I'm going to work, we're working on it hard already. So let's do it. Holy moly. Thank God there's a mute button on this mic. Wowzers. <laughs> so I apologize in advance, guys. I don't know. He must be not feeling great or something. Who knows? But you want wow. to check on? Okay. All right. Let's look at some running back rankings. I want to tell you uh, who I'm a little nervous of. Okay. Uh, Christian McCaffrey playing Arizona. Not a good matchup. Um, he's not necessarily a sit, but I think it's going to be a couple weeks till Christian McCaffrey is full speed again and they're using him like they should or that they, like they have in the past. Um, next week he plays Washington, then Miami, then he has a bye. So this might be the week that, hey, temp your expectations. Washington, Miami is going to be a good game for him. Then he has a bye. The fantasy playoffs are rough. They're real rough. Buffalo, Tampa Bay, New Orleans. Uh, that's scary. So if you have Christian McCaffrey, look, I know he's usually matchup proof. Carolina might change their their uh, 
perspective on this a little bit and try to save him a little. I don't know. Try to save him, you know, if they can make the playoffs. I don't know. But uh, Sam Darnold looks like he's out. I think I think you're right about that, about uh, Carolina and McCaffrey. I do think they're starting to – they're not going to give him that full workload like they did yeah. uh, They did before. He's not going to get 30 attempts. Yeah, yeah they, they've been they, – they tried that last year too. He got hurt. They tried that again going into this year. He got hurt again. Yeah. Missed a bunch of games. So uh, now I think they realize that what they have in Chuba Hubbard, I think they can uh, – they're going to be able to, you know, game plan him. Maybe twenty carries for McCaffrey. Give, you know, give Chuba Hubbard maybe double digits as well. Look, Just kind of go from there, right? Yeah, Chuba. He, look, he's not a game changer, but he's serviceable. Um, so, you know, he can he can get some, you know, three four yards a carry and be just fine for the team. Um, so we we'll just keep an eye on Chris McCaffrey. Uh, if you could trade him, if you can, if you're in a redraft, I would I would try to sell high if you could. Um, I'll get into maybe some of the rest of the season rankings. Uh, Aaron Jones has a great matchup this week. I'm playing him. Should we just go? I mean, we're, we're, you're starting those guys. Some guys that you may not be starting. Dernis Johnson playing New England. Uh, he should start, uh, with, um, uh, Nick Chubb on the everybody COVID on COVID. <laughs> yeah. He's got nobody behind him. <laughs> I'm running him out there. Why not? Guy's going to yeah. get like 25, 30, 30 attempts, everything. Yeah, I mean, why not run him out there? We saw what he did. You know, that one week that he did start, he blew up. So I, I it, don't see why that can't continue. I don't. At this point, I don't think it's bold that he could be a top twelve running back this week against New England. Oh, definitely potentials there for sure. What are you doing with guys like, um, you know, Elijah Mitchell? You're firing up uh, obviously because he's proven that even with uh, mm-hmm. Wilson back, he's still the guy. But yep. sorry, guys like De- Devin Singletary. Now that Moss is out, where where is he ranked in your rank? Yeah, Devin Singletary is a top 20 running back, playing the worst running defense, uh, running fantasy running defense in the NFL, the New York Jets. Devin Singletary is going to be a top 20 running back. I'm playing Devin, Devin Singletary over Elijah Mitchell. I'm playing it over Miles Gaskin, who's playing on Thursday night. Uh, I'm, I'll play him over Antonio Gibson playing Tampa Bay. That's going to be tough for Antonio Gibson. Uh, James Robinson coming off the injury and James Robinson playing against the Colts this week. I don't think they're going to run very much. So, uh, um, yeah, let's let's go Devin Singletary. Let me ask you a question. Where? So I'm in, I'm in that one deep league that we're in. I, I went against your advice when I asked you about my number one waiver priority. And, yeah, I did burn it on Madison <laughs> just because of all this stuff. But deep league, I have right now I'm sitting I, – I have running backs on my roster. I got Antonio Gibson. I got Daryl mm-hmm. Williams, Elijah Mitchell. Um, and Mike Davis, so four awesome. plus plus Madison. So yeah, solid. Mm-hmm. Problem is, is I'm running with no defense right now because there's a small small bench, right? Mm-hmm. Been trying to trade, you know, trade at least one of those running. I don't want to drop any of them, or I might just play this week out and hope I can get by without a defense. Which one of those running backs? I mean, obviously you're not getting rid of Gibson or Mitchell, like Daryl Williams, Mike Davis. Um, what are you doing? Which one of those guys? If you had to make the choice to drop one, which one would it be? Sad to say, I think it's Mike Davis, bro. Even with CEH coming back, you're, do you, I, I, I feel the same yeah. way. I, I was going to say that I think that uh, Williams has carved out a solid role for him. Like he, I think he's proven that he could be that pass catcher. He does nothing but catch balls, and I he that 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 running game has been a lot more efficient with him behind there. Yeah, yeah. I mean. When is CEH coming back? Did, did, did they say? Do you know? Designated to return, so they. I believe he started practicing, so it's. I guess it's. There's. A, there's a window for him to come back. So right. I guess it kind of depends on what Williams can do in the next two. I think like it's not a must win. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm in pretty good shape in this league, so I think if I have to, I might just sit. Uh, run no defense out there, and then. If, I mean, if I lose, it's not gonna it's not gonna affect me very much. So just kind of wait and see what happens with this Dalvin Cook information, and then kind of move yeah. on from there. Yeah, yeah. But I love I love Williams. I love Williams right now. Yeah, I mean this this week he's another top twenty guy playing Las Vegas, um, for sure. I am ranked right behind Devin Singletary. Yeah, yeah. So do I actually? Actually, I got him two spots up, two spots okay. ahead of him. So. Okay, all right. We're about the nice. same. Yeah. All right. I will be updating. I'll get you, I'll get you that link for my uh my um rankings later oh, today. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put it they, on the website. Yeah, because yeah, suit Dave suit Dave is gonna come at us hard. <laughs> um Michael Carter, look, he has explosive, and I think Michael Carter is a good running back. Uh 
temper be be nervous for it playing Buffalo this week. Uh, Buffalo didn't look great last week. I'm saying I know that uh, against the Dolphins, right? They played the Buffalo play. No, Buffalo didn't play yeah. the Dolphins. The Jackson. No, no, yeah. the Jags. They lost. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they lost against the Jags. Um, yeah, but I there. Look, don't if you if you can don't start Michael Carter this week uh, against Buffalo. Start. I would definitely start Damian Harris. I Javante just. I, Williams. See, I disagree with that because of the fact that he is he's getting everything there. He's getting he's the only guy back there. He's catching he's getting like double digit targets in the passing game. He's getting all the carries. It doesn't matter how good Buffalo's D is. Sure, they are, they're great. But if you're getting a guy that's getting like we talked about it with uh McCaffrey not getting it, but 30 attempts a game, you're gonna get you're gonna get numbers. You're gonna get fast. I don't know if it's gonna be that, that much with, with no? Mike White. I don't think it's gonna be that much with Mike White. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let what do you mean, Mike, Mike? Check the the first game Mike White played. I'm I'm checking. I'm looking. That was Car- against Carter Cincinnati. Was, yeah, yeah, Carter okay. was. Oh, but that was against Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, Carter had 77 rushing yards and a touchdown. He also had nine receptions for 95 yards. Okay. You made me. Re- <laughs> you, you made me look. I have I have Carter inside inside uh, my top 20 this year this week. I mean, the one series that Mike White was in against Indianapolis. Uh, he did have one reception for 37 yards and uh, 13 attempts for 49. No, no, no. That was full the whole game. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, Cincinnati, he had nine receptions, 95 yards, uh, over 150 total yards. So yeah, you might, you might have a point there. Okay. Well, one thing we haven't really touched on at all. We're just Buffalo touching defense. on it briefly. The, the yeah. Cincinnati. Buffalo defense is, is legit. Yeah. hundred percent. What do you, what the hell is going on? What are you doing with the Tennessee backfields? Like they didn't do nothing. They would give us no uh, indication of what the hell they're running out there. <laughs> no, Look, for those that, for those that watch the game, Don, uh, Dante <laughs> Foreman, um, he was looked the most good. efficient. Yeah, yeah, he definitely was the most efficient. He didn't get the most snaps though. Uh, they had the game plan of putting AP out there first and second downs almost entire game. Um, Adrian Peterson is going to be touchdown dependent. Uh, did he maybe Adrian Peterson just had a bad game? I don't know. Um, obviously, the first game that he's played in a while. <laughs> uh, I think I don't know if they're going to change their I don't know if they're going to change their tone so quick. I'm rolling AD, Adrian Peterson out over Foreman this week and see what happens. If I, I go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I was going to say I agree with that. But at the same time, I think McNichols is on that kind of. Uh, the, the flex appeal. Cause I still think he's getting that passing down work as he was when he was, even when Derek Henry was in, we were still seeing him, you know, creep on the field a few more times than we're used to seeing him. And I think that, I think that part of him, I don't think is going to change. I think he has got that pass catching role. It's, I guess it's going to be game dependent, right? Like, I mean, if they're going to be playing from behind, I think you're going to see more McNichols, but I mean, if you're in a deep league, like I am in an 18 team league, I think I'm still running, running McNichols out there as at least, at least as my flex. Yeah, in a deep league, I can see that. Yeah, if, yeah. I mean, look, they Foreman. I think is the best running back that they have. Yeah, and the closest, you know, to Derrick Henry. And um, he's never been given the shot, which is crazy. I mean, like with the Texans and stuff. Yeah, I mean, Texans injuries, right. injuries killed him, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. So, I mean, he's going to be one of those guys that is, walks into a perfect opportunity right now if he can, if he can have a solid next, you know, eight game stretch, nine game stretch, I guess, including this week, or eight game stretch, I guess. Um he could very well be on that, you know, the, he could open a lot of guys eyes and maybe say, you know, maybe this guy's ready to play. Right. So yep, yep. what about this thing? Did you read that thing about Arians talking about Rojo? No. So, well, he's talking about how, if anybody wants Rojo, it's going to cost them a lot in a trade. Hmm. I'm like, you're not even giving the guy a fucking chance to carry the ball. And yeah. you're demanding like high draft picks. I don't know. That's weird. All right. Uh, but it just kind of makes me wonder about Rojo, like in, in some dynasty leagues, I don't even want to get rid of I'm just kind of curious to see what's going to happen with him next year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, Leonard Fournette has just played so well. Yeah. Well, um, he said, he said one Nick, well, one Nick on Leonard Fournette, it's Rojo's job again. Right. But I right, mean, obviously right. you have to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Buccaneers need something extraordinary to trade Ronald Jones. Yeah. He said it would have to be something really, really special because I love the way he's running. Bruce Arian said. Yeah, 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 it's me just, too. Yeah. too bad okay, okay, that's what you're reading. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So let's start with some, uh, let's go to the wide receiver position. All right, let's do it. What do you got? 
Uh, let's see. I uh, don't know. I'll tell you a couple guys that maybe you're... Uh, Adam Thielen is going to have a tough matchup against the Chargers. Um, Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf both have uh, difficult matchups. I'm playing DK Metcalf. I'm on the fence and Tyler Lockett if you have to. I got, I got Lockett back up in my top 20 because of the fact that Wilson's back, right? That's the biggest thing. I think with yeah. with Geno Smith, I just think he kind of locked in on, you know, really nobody. There's nobody that really stood out like when, right. when he was behind center. But I think, you know, I think Wilson lo locks into both DK Metcalf and Lockett. I think Lockett's a little bit m more favored, I think, in that passing game just because it was, you know, running out of the slot. But mm -hmm. I got I, I moved him back up into my uh, top 20. Nice. Uh, I'm excited about Mike Williams to show out this week. If, uh, you know, Keenan Allen has been a monster, but I think Mike Williams, yeah, he had flashes of really good games playing Minnesota, one of the worst past defenses for fantasy football players. Uh, but Mike Williams, man, I mean, just looking at his last couple games, he had two receptions in each of his game, last three games that he's played. That's brutal. That yeah, he's brutal. about, he's Especially about to pop. After. He's going to pop again he has very to. shortly. Yeah. Here's his receptions from week one. Okay. <laughs> eight, seven, seven, one, eight, two, two, two. Yeah, so it has to go, it has to correct itself back to seven or eight receptions. That's when the chargers are, you know, doing well. Um, well, when they, when they involve both of those guys, right? Like with, when they involve both yeah. of those guys, it just seems that they've, uh, kind of be giving you know all these random name guys out there you know like paul uh josh palmer all these guys again they're getting yeah. targeted over guys yeah. like mike williams i understand that you know maybe it's a, it's the coverage and all that stuff like that but williams is going to beat coverage just get him the ball <laughs> yeah i mean the next look he plays minnesota next week he plays pittsburgh hey, hey dale you should have seen so with with the little guy crying i text sarah i'm like I'm like, what the fuck, right? And she, she just responds back, yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> might, might be in the doghouse a little bit. <laughs> um, the, the upcoming schedule for Mike Williams is pretty good all the way up to the, to the fantasy championships. Um, Minnesota this week, Pittsburgh, Denver, Cincinnati, Giants, Kansas City, Houston, and Denver again. If you could, this is a good trade candidate here. Uh, he hasn't performed very well in the last three weeks. Like I said, this might be a guy that you might be able to get cheap. And he has a, I mean, the last look, he had a bye week seven. Then he played new England, pretty good uh, defense against wide receivers. And then Philadelphia really good against wide receivers. Um, would you, would you trade say in that deep league? I have, mm -hmm. would you trade Keenan Allen and Daryl Williams for Mike Williams? Or is that, that's way too much. Hey, eh? say again. Mike Williams for Keenan Allen and Daryl Williams. Mm. That's a lot, though. I would think that is a lot. That's yeah, a that's, lot. Uh, I'm, really, yeah. I'm just trying to really try to figure out. A, I need to try to make a two for one deal that's going to benefit me, and also open up that extra roster spot. <laughs> I mean, Look, I could just go this week without just because I got Burrow on buy. Right, that's on my only problem. Yeah, I almost made a trade though. Uh, Burrow and. Burrow, Daryl Williams for Russell Wilson and Marquise Brown, but then some guy came back and swooped in and offered yeah. a crazy running back for Wilson. So, oh well. yeah. If I, if you want Mike Williams, I think you can. If you can get him for somebody like T. Higgins, Devonta Smith, uh, Jalen Waddle, Cortland Sutton, Brandon Cooks, I would trade any of those guys to get Mike Williams. Um. Mike Williams and Michael Pittman Jr. are basically almost back to back for me for the rest of the season. Um, yep. And so, if you value those guys similarly, uh, what I think I would trade, I think I would trade Amari Cooper straight up for Mike Williams. Would you? Yep. That would be. That's about. That's about where I think where he'd be going. Yeah, for okay. sure. All right. Um, so let me give you guys a list, just in case you want Mike Williams and you have any of these guys. I. You are completely safe. Amari Cooper. Uh, Tyler Lockett, Emmanuel Sanders, T. Higgins, Devonta Smith, Jalen Waddle, Cortland Sutton. You can get if you can get Mike Williams for any of those guys, you're gonna win. Okay. Where do you have Pittman? Speaking on Pittman this year or this week, where do you have him ranked? Uh, hold on, let me go back to my. I got him top ranks. ten, man. 
I think I do too. Against oh. Jacksonville. Dude, it's so it's, oh. I love rooting for Michael Pittman. <laughs> but the thing is, though, is you look at you look at what Jacksonville did to Buffalo last week, right? That scares me too. Like <laughs> shut down digs, like everybody. Dude, I'm like, look, oh, look I'm telling you right. I'm telling you right now, that was a weird game. And yeah. I'll tell you, and I know people are listening to this after the Thursday night game. Thursday night game is gonna get weird. I I am basing that off nothing but gut feeling that the Dolphins are gonna make this way closer than it needs to be. <laughs> it's not going to, I think it'll be a really entertaining game. And I bet you the dolphins lose by, I bet you they lose only by like 21 points. <laughs> not joking. not joking. I think, <laughs> I think the dolphins lose by like three. I, I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think. It's um, been, yeah, it's been crazy. Like the games last week were just, I mean, I, I wish we would have talked last week. We got to start doing our, you know, talking the day after because yeah. that's basically uh yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, the reactions are the best, right? Hey, if, if you guys are on YouTube, um, here's a picture of the Dolphins team photo after Thursday night. <laughs> there you go. That's the Dolphins team photo. Um, okay, really quick, before we get off the air, Clayton, I want to show you something. You remember, look, I hate to say this, um, but I think we were on top of the train with the Island Boys. Oh, like, yeah. we got to it before it really blew up, didn't we? Yeah, you should like, see the video Kyla has of me. My daughter has of me. I was like annihilated uh, a couple <laughs> weeks ago for her birthday. And yeah. oh yeah, singing it like I was one of yeah. them. It was yeah. it's yeah. ridiculous, man. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know what we're talking Cause about, I'm a island. Yes, hold on. Cause I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. So you guys remember that, right? Uh, we were first. We were all top of the train. I, my emotions with these guys have been so up and down. I loved them with this video because it just seems so authentic and they're just trying to make it. They're Island boys just trying to make it. I loved it. And then they like turned to like, they had so much virality. They like, they were, they got so big so quick. Then they thought they were like, hot shit they thought they were like we're talking Eminem, dr dre like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah right big. right yeah yeah and then i was like oh god these guys have gone off the edge and so i really hated them for like a week but now they've come back around to like making fun of themselves a little bit and i love them again um it's if i mean you guys gotta follow them on tiktok like they went from like oh we're making so much money and yeah, they're kind of like that still um you know taking pictures of all the shoes they're buying um that was really annoying uh, and then they were like, hey, we've been grinding for years trying to make it all this stuff. But now they're kind of making fun of each other. Like they're stitching videos of people making fun of them. And you kind of see like a little bit of their personality. So I'm back to like kind of liking them again. It is. It's pretty awesome to see yeah, everybody that's, you know, like, you know, foil on their teeth and whatever. Yeah, 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 the the yeah. best one is when they have those like swimming noodles attached to their head. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the funniest things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one was like a, uh, they had a dog with it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, and then, you know, like they stitch it and they're like, kind of like, you know, they're laughing about it, yeah. you know, like that. I, if they, if people can learn to be like, uh, you know, um, like self, uh, deprecating, like that's the best, right? I love that. Um, so anyways, um, that's all I want to say about the Island boys. This is funny. Are we getting on, uh, that was a good show. Are we getting on a Sunday morning again? Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, let's do it for sure. We'll put if a you guys wanna... out on eat nation for sure. Okay. Yeah. We, how about you? Okay. Dale. Well, okay. I, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll take the reins on this one. Thanks. Don't worry, Dale. I'll take the reins. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have a look. I mentioned the Vegas thing. I'm not going to tell you who I'm calling after this show, but I'll tell you that Ooh, is. I forgot. I was going to ask you about that. It's today. Ooh, it's today. That is, it's yeah. a few minutes. Um, it's a big. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cam Newton meeting with his old team, Panthers. Interesting. Interesting. That would be very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I might have to bring my wife, Dale, just so you know. That's okay. Yeah. Hey. But she 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 likes parties. She probably actually probably parties way harder than I do. So sorry. Right. That's okay. Hey, look, um, as long as uh she don't go chirping to my wife, we're okay. Yeah, just yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't call Brooke, sir. Don't call Brooke. <laughs> uh okay, I'll leave you guys with this and then um yeah, uh start talking to your significant other. Look, bring them if you want. I don't care. Like, but I'm telling you. You probably don't want to. Um, 
you know, because uh, we get crazy. We get crazy. <laughs> yeah, Dale. Gets I'm not, really not going to say. I'm not going to say I, anything. <laughs> but if you're either into drugs or hookers, you probably don't want to bring your wife. That's all I'm saying. Or hang out with Clayton in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clayton is going to definitely get kicked. No, uh, I no. Of a, of a I, to, I told you that one story yeah, from. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know how many years ago, and yeah, I'll never get back to that fun part of Clayton now that I have kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, cool. All right, I'll leave you guys with this, and then we're going to go. Here, do you remember this? When I come out here, all you people boo me. Because I tell the truth, and all you people can't handle the truth. And what I'm seeing right now is a bunch of genetic deficient scumbags who are a disgrace to the human race. Yeah, buddy. Big no, Papa big, Pump. Big Papa Pump, baby. <laughs> Riley is going to kill you, by the way. Oh, I know. Me. I know. I know he is. Sorry, <laughs> Riley. He is. Uh, all right, guys. I will. Well, let's uh, let's do this again. Um in a couple weeks. <laughs> no, we're doing it now. We're doing it yeah. next week. We're back okay, next okay. week. We're, we're going to be live show on Saturday. I mean, on Sunday. Sunday, yep. Live show on Sunday. And uh, and then, um, yeah, then we're going to get back to our no, normal we schedule. No, we good to go. Yeah, get back, get back to this week or next week. So, for sure. All right, guys. All right, but Appreciate pleasure, you. Pleasure, Dale. Pleasure, Dale. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Peace. <laughs> Screaming Eat Nation, we doing what we like. Tune in every week, guarantee we get it hype. Fantasy, football enthusiasts, I know you plan to be joining us on Eat Sleep Fantasy.